Hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Soji Gray and welcome to another episode of Quick View. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that anytime a new video is released, you're going to be updated instantly. This video is sponsored by Photomap for Google Photos. If you want to find out more about Photomap for Google Photos, check the link in the description below. So for some time now, Android users have enjoyed some level of customizations that iOS device users don't even have access to. But with iOS 12, Apple has enabled developers to have access to the iOS widget center and they're able to create amazing apps that you can use in your widget center. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about six of my favorite apps that you can use in your iOS widget center. They are very interesting apps and I can't wait for you guys to go download them. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first widget app I'm going to talk about is Time Page. In my previous video, I spoke about Time Page as one of my favorite 2019 apps. It's a one of a kind calendar app that comes with a ton of nifty features. The Time Page month widget gives you easy access to a full calendar which displays the month, day and date with just a swipe. The widget is visually pleasant too. With this widget, you can take note of an event you're looking forward to or an event that happened in the past. The Time Page app is free to download, but opting for other in-app purchases can unlock the full potential of this app. However, the free version will surely serve you well. The second widget app is Steve. Steve the Jumping Dinosaur is a simple game you can play from your iOS widget center. Familiar? Well, yeah. When using the Chrome browser, a dinosaur appears when the browser can't display a web page due to bad internet connection. However, if you press the space bar, the Chrome error message which features a pixelated dinosaur begins to jump obstacles and achieves scores. This game is a very simple app you can play when you want to mark time or keep busy. It's free to download from the App Store. Wi-Fi is a simple widget center app that gives you an informative visual of which Wi-Fi your iPhone is connected to. Aside the Wi-Fi name, it displays an option to test for Wi-Fi speed and indicator that shows if the Wi-Fi is secured or not. I usually love to connect to a number of free Wi-Fi hotspots in restaurants and malls. Having to just swipe to view which of them your device is connected to is super cool. There will probably be a number of Wi-Fi apps on the App Store, so make sure to click the link in the description below to download this app. Copied is the fourth widget app I want to talk about. Copied is pretty useful if you love to copy text and links. Once you make a copy of anything, it automatically appears in the Copied app and its widgets in the iOS widget center. The free version allows you to copy 10 clippings only, but I didn't find myself needing more clippings as I have a notes app I use for saving text. Where this widget app shines is the speed and ease at which you can copy your clippings. All you have to do is swipe to the widget center, identify your clipping, and then hit the copy button by it. Make sure to try copied out today. The fifth widget app is Clock. I have a soft spot for minimally designed apps and Clock is no exception. The Clock app, as the name suggests, is a time app that shows time zones of different countries around the world. This is very useful if you do communicate with business partners, family, or friends who happen to be in another country with a different time zone from where one is. From the Clock Widget app, you can easily see the current time at that location and for example, instantly know if it's a good time to call the person or not. Also, it makes you choose between analog or digital styled clocks for your widget center. Clock is free to download from the App Store. The last app is Countdowns. Say you're to meet a deadline for an assignment or you want to know how many days left to the birthday of that special someone. The Countdowns app, as the name suggests, makes you know how many days, hours and seconds left to that special event. It has a nice and simple illustration in the widget center too. And you can also add multiple countdowns as well. This app can be gotten from the App Store for free. So guys, that's that for this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Six apps, just download them and let me know which one is your favorite. And I mean, if you have any suggestions on any app I should try or any app I should talk about, make sure to tell me that in the comment section down below. And as I said earlier, this video is sponsored by Photomap for Google Photos. You should try, check them out. It's an Android app, great, great app. And make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay blessed.